Engraving a gun requires cutting steel with steel. Let's take a look at the engraving process. The lock plates on this Parker shotgun were originally engraved with the words Parker Brothers. That engraving was removed as part of the polishing process after the metal was annealed. So I need to recut the letters as they originally appeared before we reharden the metal. The first step is to take a lifting of the engraving from a shotgun of a similar vintage. I dab a little inletting black into the lettering and wipe off the excess with a paper towel. This will leave the inletting black in the letters without any on the surface of the lock plate. Now the pattern can be lifted with a piece of scotch tape and transferred to a second piece of tape to reverse the image. Then I'll make a photocopy of the image and tape it to the lock plate. A bit of acetone will melt the ink on the paper, transferring it to the metal. Pretty cool. Now I'm ready to engrave. I'm using a Graver Mock engraving machine, which turns this tool into a miniature air operated jackhammer. A powerful microscope magnifies the image 22 and a half times so I can see the work better. Good lighting is essential and a light is built into the microscope. The lock plate is secured in a rotating ball of ice which gives me easy access to all sides. Each letter in the name Parker Brothers requires several small cuts. Polishing off the burrs left from the engraving with 320 grit sandpaper is the final step.